Streamperfly sent me the ring light 14. Thank you so much, Streamperfly. Let's unpack it and see how it looks like. Okay, I thought I would pull it out like that. Ooh, there's a bag. I feel like there's more in it. There it is. Another box. This is it. No, it's it's heavy at the bottom. There's something at the bottom, guys. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, I am curious what this is because this was stuck at the bottom. So let's unpack this first. Oh, this might be the tripod. Okay. Yep, this seems to be a tripod. <laughs> so you can open it here, widen it up. Okay, let's put it something like this, I think. And then with these, you can hire it like super high out of sight the shop. <laughs> but you can make it quite high. And then here on the top, we can actually attach the ring light. Let me put this on the side. I think this is gonna be the ring light. Okay. It comes with a bag with a strip, so you can actually take it with you on the go if you want to bring a ring light on the go. Then there's a manual here. Opening this up. Plastic. Oh, it got me static a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, so with this bottom part, we can actually attach it to the tripod. So you can only tilt it like this, I think. There is a mount up here, which let you attach a camera or something. Just a normal screw. On the back, we got two USB entry points, an on-off switch, and this seems to be an adapter. So I think if you have the USB hub, you can attach it with the USB hub. Otherwise you can also attach it with normal power supply. Oh, and then here in the front, there are more buttons. So we have the intensity of the light and we have the Kelvin, which is the light color. Do we want it to be really blue or do we want it to look sunny? So these don't actually are button buttons, but I think they're touch buttons. Now let's see what this in this box is. Okay. Adapter. We found that. General European plug. You probably get a different plug if you don't use your European plug where you're from. And we got a little remote. Interesting. Yeah, clicks feel good. So it says on the manual here, there's an on and off button. So minus and plus is for the color intensity and the up and down buttons are actually for how bright you want to have the light. Preset light modes. Oh, you can switch to preset light mode. Little note that you need to put batteries in the back. Otherwise it won't work. <laughs> I'm wondering what's in here then. No oh, screws. Oh, haha, they include this. So what is this? Seems really small. <laughs> it is, but that's actually good. So this you can attach on the top here. This one's actually one of those mounts where you can put your lights or microphone or something like that in. They've got a different one. And this one is actually interesting because this one you can screw in and you can attach a camera. So you can have your camera inside the ring light. Everything is wrapped. <laughs> and then, well, we can attach this to it. So we can attach this and on, on the ring light. And you can put your phone in between here so you can squeeze your phone in and you can record TikTok videos, for example. There's more. Okay, this is the last one. <laughs> A stick with a bowl. Aha! We can attach our phones on it. And this is another attachment point for accessories. Moment of truth. A 
okay, it's bright. But if you put it like further away, bright is good, I would say. So you can use it as a side light, you can use it as a main light, you can use it as a backlight, a hair light it's called. It's not bad guys. So you can put the intensity down or up if you want and you can change the colors. So you can customize it to whatever you want. Again, thank you so much Dreamcast High for giving me this light. 